I have only one Christmas wish this year. All I want is for the Guyanese politicians to ring fence each new oil project, starting with a sixth one. If that is done, the trauma, the burden, and hardships, etc., will no longer be on the Guyanese people's back. In a jiffy, this country can be transformed. Salaries and old age pensions can be doubled with ease. Fence the oil projects, and Guyanese can also have the best and most efficient water and electricity supply. Fence the oil projects, and no one has to worry about the high cost of living in this land anymore. Fence the oil projects, and we can have proper roads and highways all across this country. Just fence them projects, and we can have the best medical facilities unmatched anywhere in the world. Fence those new oil projects, and our children will have the best quality of education in comfort and style. Fence the oil projects, and Guyana will have never have to run to foreign banks for loans anymore. Guyana can become lenders rather than borrowers. Fence every new oil project and our present and our children's future will be secure and set for generations to come. At present, Guyana is foregoing over four billion American dollars yearly of our oil profits to Exxon and will have to forego many more U.S. billions yearly from the five oil projects that was not ring-fenced in a country that is struggling to make payments on its $4 billion debt. Can the leaders explain that to the Guyanese people? Can the leaders explain why Guyana does not have its own meters at the oil pumps. Why they are not capping the interest rates on the oil companies' investments out there. Not properly checking, reviewing, and auditing each oil project cost. Not reviewing a cent, or I should say receiving a cent tax from its oil resources. Not verifying or scrutinizing the monthly expenses by the oil companies. Not demanding full protection, compensation from an oil spill to this entire region and all its people. As the publisher, of the Kaicho News. I am willing to bypass all those misdeeds and mismanagement of the oil sector. I am also willing to turn a blind eye and a deaf ear to all those mentioned above. All I am pleading for is to fence all the upcoming new oil projects that Barajak Deir is about to hand eggs on. My fellow Guyanese, many oil producing countries walk through that fire and turn to ashes without fencing their oil projects. We have a choice not to walk through that fire, but walk around it or put it out by fencing the oil projects to save this nation. Oh, buddy, every oil-producing country on earth 
including our own bellies and Suriname, fence the oil projects. Look how everything in this country is dull and dark at this time. All because those five leases oil projects were not fenced. Could you guys show the nation some light in the coming year by fencing every new oil project as a Christmas gift so we can all breed and enjoy our oil wealth? Let me repeat. Fencing these oil projects comes with great value to a nation that is starving. No one, no one should have to say, please ring fence all the new upcoming oil projects. But I will. Please make this Christmas gift, this Christmas wish come true for me and all Guyana by fencing every new oil project. And with that I say, Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas from all of us at the Kaicho News and Kaicho Radio.